Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 4.0, and today is day 13. So as we continue to cultivate leads from our campaigns, more often than not, we're going to have one or more that say, yes, I'm interested, and uh, I would like to um, have you call me in three months, six months. I'm still working on my credit. I'm working on a down payment, something along those lines where we want to continue tracking that lead as a possible opportunity to do business. And we do that most easily and most efficiently through our opportunities pipeline. So today I wanted to show you briefly what that pipeline looks like and then your ability to actually create a new opportunity from within the contact record. So opportunities is the handshake icon. It's the sixth icon down. So as we click on that applet, you can see that we have three pipelines. So we've got listings, buyers, and leases. Each one of these pipelines has five phases. So you can see cultivate, appointment, active, under contract, and then closed. Very similar on the leases, except that we have pending instead of under contract. And as we get leads in on these ads that we're running, Typically, I find that they are buyer leads looking to possibly purchase the listing that we're advertising, and we need to cultivate them towards typically the ability to meet with us so that we can then begin showing them homes. And so in order to, cult to create a cultivate opportunity from within our leads from our campaigns, we're actually just going to click on the actual campaign itself. We'll click on paid ad so that we can see our ad running. We'll click on the number of leads that we have and we'll see our leads. And let's just say that this most recent lead said, yes, I'm interested, but please call me three to six months from now. Great, no issue. I wanna track that opportunity to do business together. And so I can come into the opportunities tab on the right hand side and then click on create opportunity. You'll see because I've done this inside the contact record, it automatically hard codes this opportunity to the client that I was on. Important note, we want to make sure that we pay attention to the opportunity type. It defaults to listing. However, this is a buyer opportunity type. If this client had a partner that they wanted to purchase the house with, I would put them in as the co-buyer. If I knew the actual property they were looking to purchase, then I would put the actual listing address here. But since I'm still working with them to get to that point, we're going to leave it just as their last name slash buyer. Custom tags, we've talked about that in the past, how to create tags for contacts. These tags actually refer to the opportunity itself. Uh, and so in that sense, I do want to put in, I'm actually gonna put in Facebook ad because at the end of my year, I wanna track how many opportunities I've closed from Facebook ads. Um, I'm also gonna put in Bridgeland as well because I wanna track how many transactions I'm closing in Bridgeland. And then you can see I have a few others. So where did this come from? Sphere, agent referral, imported, new construction. Uh, what type of deal is it? Uh, where is the lead source? What neighborhood are we in? So you can see there's a variety of different tags that you can put in. And if it's not there same way, you would just type it in and then cl click on create new lead. Uh, estimated close date, I don't have that yet. So I'm gonna leave it blank. Time frame. she said within the next six months. So let me click on that. Uh, budget, this house was listed at 549, so I'm gonna go ahead and just put 550,000 for the budget. I'm gonna list my commission rate as 3%. Um, and then down here, you can see opportunity phase and opportunity stage. So we said we wanted to drop this person into the cultivate phase. And then here are my stages within the opportunity phase. So you can see they're either six months out or more, three to six, one to three, less than one. I'm going to go ahead and drop them in the six months or more stage. And then this opportunity is assigned to just me. If you have a team, you do have the ability to assign your opportunity to additional members of your team. Once I click on create opportunity, you will see that this opportunity has now been created and I can see it within the contact record. I can also come into my opportunities pipeline and now see that I have a number one underneath cultivate. And as I click on it, I can now see here is that opportunity card that I just created for this potential buyer. This commission is based upon the commission rate and the budget that I provided her. And then you can see that this card can actually be dragged. So if I talk to her uh, a month from now and she's like, yep, we're getting a little closer. We're probably three to four months out. Then I can actually move the card from stage to stage 
and then ultimately from stage to phase. So I can move them into appointment or active basically just by clicking on the card and then moving it around on the screen. So that's a very basic overview of opportunities and then how to create one from within the contact record so you make sure that it's properly coded to the right contact. As always, guys, I'll look forward to speaking with you tomorrow. Hope everyone's having a fantastic day. Thanks so much.